Today I'm sharing nine dollar store beauty hacks and organizing tips that's going to make your beauty world easier and more organized. That's coming up next. Welcome back. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is organizing and making things easier. I love it when my life is easier. So anything I can do towards that end, I'm all for. Today I'm talking about nine dollar store beauty hacks and organizing tips that have made my life so much better. So I thought I would share them with you. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, just go ahead and click that red button down below and make sure you hit that notification bell and YouTube will give you a heads up when there's something new for you to watch. So a little backstory of why I'm even talking about dollar store beauty hacks and organizing tips. For those of you who don't know, I just returned from two years of full-time travel. I was literally out of the country for two years with nothing more than a carry-on suitcase and a backpack. And the reason that I had so little is because that's all I owned. I literally sold everything before I left the country. And I'm talking about, I didn't own a washcloth or a Q-tip, except that was in my carry-on or my little, I wasn't sure when I left if I was ever actually going to live in the United States again. I thought I might end up living somewhere like maybe Ecuador or Costa Rica or Portugal. I just really didn't know what my plans were. So I literally sold everything. Well, fast forward, I did end up coming back to the United States and have settled in to a sweet little town in Northern California and plan on staying here for a while. When I moved into my new place, I moved in with that carry-on suitcase and my backpack and that was it. I didn't own anything. I had to start from scratch, which was both kind of fun and kind of a bit of a hassle because buying everything again, and we're talking dishes and pots and pans and sheets, I didn't own a pillow or a pillowcase. So I literally had to start from scratch. One of the things that I noticed when I was traveling and I had so very little, I literally had one pair of jeans, one pair of shorts, a couple of shirts, one dress. I learned that the minimalist lifestyle really suited me. I really liked owning less and I've really stuck with that since I've moved in my new place here at the ocean. So I'm very, very careful about what I buy and the things that I do buy, I like them to serve me well and to be very, very easy to use. Hence my penchant for organizing things. So I've got some great ideas from the dollar store. And the reason the dollar store has become so important to me is the tiny little town that I live in, there is no retail in the town. There's less than 500 people in the town I live in. So I have to actually drive up the coast on Highway 1 a little bit to go to the town, you know, up the, <laughs> up the road. And there's nothing much there other than a CVS and a dollar store. So I've made do with what I could find at the dollar store. And actually there's been some great finds there. I'm going to share with you the things that I'm using and loving and that are making my life easier. Let's start in with the tips and ideas now and make sure you stay to the end because the last one will have you either thinking I'm a genius or I'm completely unhinged you be the judge. The first idea is an organizing idea and it's actually these little pink buckets and you can see about the size you can compare to my head and you know this one I have copious amounts of lipstick because apparently I have a lipstick buying problem and this one here has my a selection of blushes and bronzers so these have been so incredibly handy but you're probably thinking storage baskets from the dollar store. We all know that. You're right, we do all know that. But here's the cool thing about this particular size of storage basket. They fit in one of those hanging shoe organizers that go in the closet. And I'll put a picture right up here for you. So I've been able to actually fill an entire shoe hanging organizer with these baskets and put my makeup in it. And I'll tell you, it's so handy because I'll have my primers in one basket, my foundations in another basket, my mascaras in another basket, my lipsticks in another basket. Trust me, my eyeshadow palettes, I've got too many to fit in one of these baskets, so they're somewhere else. But it just hangs in my closet and it's such a clever and space-saving storage idea. So this is the first one I wanna start with, these great storage batches that are perfect size 
to fit in a shoe organizer. The next idea I wanna share with you is not an organizing tip, it is a beauty hack, and it's actually a teeth whitening formula. I didn't come up with this idea, I actually saw it on YouTube from another blogger. She had found this teeth whitener at the dollar store, and I thought, golly, I'm gonna go up to my dollar store and see if I can find me some, and I did. So this is a teeth whitener that you can get for $1 at the dollar store. It comes with this little tray, you know, right here, which is not the greatest. It's not the greatest. I actually have custom trays that I'd gotten years ago that when I was paying a whole lot more than this for a teeth whitener, I just used that. But this teeth whitener, I can't tell a difference between the expensive brand I was buying from my dentist years ago and this one. It's a little tube. You can see I'm pretty much almost finished with this one and I've already got a couple of backups in my bathroom. And this is what it looks like hanging on the shelves in my dollar store. If you have this in your dollar store, go ahead and grab it because I can't tell the difference between this teeth whitener and the expensive one I was using from the dentist. I love it. I use it several times a week. I leave it in for maybe 10 or 12 minutes and it seems to really whiten my teeth. The next idea I wanna share with you is these handy, handy headbands. And I actually have picked up several. Now, what I like about these so well is first of all, they're kind of cute. You know, they have that a little bit of Hollywood glamor because they're so shiny, but they have an elastic nature to them in this fabric. And I'll use these everywhere. I'll use them in the morning when I wash my face, in the evening when I wash my face, when I put on my serums, when I do my facial massage. I actually have one of these in my bathroom, one of these on my makeup table, one of these in the little basket of stuff that I keep on my couch, handy stuff. These are terrific. They're only a dollar and they last a long time and they're sort of cute. So headbands from the dollar store. The next idea I wanna share is Dawn soap. <laughs> I know, what's the big deal about Dawn soap? Anybody can get Dawn soap. You can find this size for a dollar, which I find incredibly handy. I actually will buy larger bottles somewhere else and put them in this small bottle to use at my kitchen. But what I wanna talk about today is that I use this Dawn soap and vinegar to clean my makeup brushes. So what I'll do is I'll just put all my brushes upside down in a little container. I'll put a little bit of Dawn soap in there with a little bit of vinegar and I'll just let them sit for several hours. Rinse them off, lay them out on a towel and they clean beautifully. If you haven't used Dawn soap and vinegar to wash your makeup brushes with, give it a try. I think you'll like it and you can always find it at this size in this handy little bottle at the dollar store. The next idea are these little containers. I find them so handy for so many beauty items. This particular one has coconut oil in it and I keep this in the little basket that I keep on my couch. So if I'm sitting around in the evening and I feel like massaging my face, I pull out one of my headbands, which are right there in that little basket, my coconut oil and just give myself a face massage. You can also keep little hair ties in this, bobby pins, just a number of things. These are so doggone handy and generally you can find this size for about two for a dollar. The next item that I picked up at the dollar store that I use every day and I'm absolutely loving is my scrubby gloves. These are wonderful and you can get two of these gloves for one dollar. You don't have to go out and pay eight or nine, ten or twelve dollars for a pair of scrubby gloves. These are lovely and I've owned a number of pairs throughout my life. These are just as good as any I've ever owned. I put them on my hands when I take a shower, rub my whole body over with it. Sometimes I'll do my face but it's just a wonderful way to exfoliate your skin. I use them in the shower every single time I shower and they're terrific. So scrubby gloves at the dollar store, you really don't need to spend more money than just a buck. The next thing I find so handy from the dollar store, and this is going to be really personal preference. You'll either like the idea or you won't, but it's washcloths. I like to use a fresh washcloth every time I wash my face. So I'll wash my face, rinse it off, use the washcloth or whatever, and then I'll just put that washcloth into the laundry. That's just the way that I like to do it. Some people do it differently. That's fine, whatever works for you. But I find that inexpensive washcloths are really the ideal because then I can own 20 or 30 and have them in my bathroom at all times so I never run out. Now this is a set of four microfiber washcloths and I like to get white because I can throw them in the laundry, throw in some bleach and then everything comes out all crisp and bright and white looking again. So you can pick up four of these microfiber washcloths at the dollar store for 
about the next idea I want to share is this Lucite makeup holder. Every dollar store is going to have a different collection of the makeup holders. I picked this one up and I wasn't really sure I was going to like it because I, I wasn't quite sure how it was really going to make my life easier, but by golly, it really, really has. I can't tell you how convenient it is that I have the things that I use every day, like my eyeshadow primer and my concealers and my face primer and the, you know, the foundations that I've been using all in this little blue side holder and I have it just right here on my makeup table and I now know where everything is in the loose side holder. I just go over there and grab it and put it back again. It has saved me so much time because I'm no longer looking around my makeup table for where I put that. And I always put it right back in the same place. So I've got that memory now. And instead of hunting and pecking and looking around in the bathroom or my makeup table, I know exactly where they are. So if you've never tried one of these handy little holders to organize some of your makeup, I can tell you, if you're on the fence, give it a whirl. It's really worth it. And for a dollar, it can't We're to be. the last tip now, and this is the one that you're either going to think that I'm a genius or I'm a little unhinged. So you let me know in the comments which one it is. It all starts with one of my pet peeves, which is when I go to wash my face, and you know you're splashing water on your face, the water will drip down my arms when I'm washing my face, particularly if I'm, you know, I'm going like this that really, really bothers me because I've got water dripping down my arm and then it's going inside my pajama top or my robe and then I'm walking around with this wet sleeve for the rest of the evening. I really, really don't enjoy it. It's just one of my pet peeves. So I came up this idea and you might think I'm a little unhinged or you might run out and want to do it yourself right away. So I went to the dollar store and they have these little fuzzy gloves. You can see them. They're just little fuzzy. Well, what I do is I buy them, I come home and I cut the top off of these gloves and I put them around my wrists so when I wash my face, the water doesn't drip down my arm, it gets stopped in those little wrist guards. And I'm telling you ladies, it has made my evening skincare, my morning skincare, the whole thing so much more pleasant. Here is a set that I've been using for a while, so they look a little not as fresh and new as the, the gloves I just showed you, but they work so well. You just put them right around your wrist and it catches the water when you wash your face and no more wet inside of your robes or <laughs> inside of your pajamas, no more water running down your arm. To me, that's worth a whole lot more than just a dollar. Well, that's the dollar store beauty organizing ideas and hacks that I have for you today. If you have some that you use that I didn't mention, please put them down in the comments below. We'd love to learn from you. I love anything that makes my life easier and more fun that frees me up to just go out and do fun things. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, just go ahead and click that red button down below and make sure you hit the notification bell and YouTube will give you a heads up when there's something new for you to watch. It just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. So thank you so much for stopping. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.